Hi guys, welcome to the second exercise of Learn Autodesk Fusion 360 Beginner Series. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to create a new sketch and what are the functionalities of sketch command and limitations of it. So first create a new sketch. If we click on the create sketch command here, you can see three planes have been highlighted and they are XZ, XY and YZ respectively. If we select any of these three planes, we can start sketching on it. Here you can see in the toolbar, all the commands have been changed which are related to sketch. The create tab consists of all the commands which are mainly used for creating new drawings. If we go to modify panel or modify tab, here you can see all the commands are related to modifying the existing sketches. If we go to further right, here are all the constraints, which are mainly used for defining relation between different sketch objects, as like horizontal or vertical, coincident and the tangent. Now the question arises, are we only limited to create new sketches on those three planes only? The answer is no. We can create sketches on any flat planes. In order to demonstrate this, I have created a 3D box in this design. It consists of six planes, these side planes and the top one. Now if we go to create a new sketch, here you can see, if we move our mouse cursors on these planes, the planes are highlighted. If we select any of them, we can start sketching on them. Let's sketch a circle. The different options of creating a circle I will be describing in the upcoming videos. Rotate it. Here you can see our sketch has been created on this plane of the cube. Let's create another sketch. This time select this plane. Draw a two point rectangle and finish sketch. Here you can see both these sketches are perpendicular to each other since we have selected two planes which are perpendicular to each other. Now the question arises, since we have created this cube, can't we select origin planes which we just saw in the previous design? The answer is yes. Let's create a new sketch. If we bring our mouse cursor on the origin planes, here you can see the sides of the cube have been highlighted. Now if we left click on it and hold it for one second. A pop-up menu will arrive which will ask in which plane we want to create the sketch. Here we have the sketch profile, the face of the cube, the YZ plane and the another face that is the backside face of the cube. Let's select the YZ plane. In order to demonstrate it properly, let's create a circle on it. Finish sketch. Here you can see it properly. To get access to all of the sketches, go here and here we have our all the sketches. You can turn off and turn on the visibilities of the previous sketches by just clicking the eye buttons here. Now go to the last part. Here we have created a cylinder. Now. Let's create a new sketch on it. Here you can see, if we bring our mouse cursor to this circular plane or any of these three planes, they are highlighted. When we bring our mouse cursor to the cylindrical part, it is not highlighted. And if we try to select this cylindrical part, by default any of these three planes which is related to the mouse cursor will be selected. In order to demonstrate it properly, let's click on this cylindrical face. Draw a two point rectangle. Finish sketch. Here you can see the sketch has been created on this XY plane rather than the cylindrical face. Here we can conclude that we can create sketch on any of the flat planes but not on any car planes. Up to this much for the tutorial. In the next tutorial, 
I will be showing you how to create a line and what are the different functionalities available in it. See you in the next video. Till then, keep designing and design whatever you love. Bye bye.